Hey everybody, how's it going? I want to do my impressions on Unravel, uh, the game that was just released a few days ago for uh, the PC, PS4, and Xbox One, published by EA and developed by Coldwood Studios. So, I have to say that Unravel, it, it kind of surprised me because I looked at this game, right, and I wasn't like, I wasn't like hugely into it like a lot of people. A lot of people were like, oh wow, this looks re really good, right? I'm not a big platformer guy, to be completely honest with you guys. Uh, it's just not my type of style. I don't play like a lot of the older platformers and uh, I don't like, you know, if there's a platformer that comes out, odds are I'm probably going to skip it. But this is one that really intrigued me because of its artistic direction and also because of all the hype it got surrounded by, it, you know, through, with its announcement at E3 2015. And uh, I wanted to, you know, take the opportunity to kind of get the game and test it out and let you guys know what I think. And uh, I have to say that it immediately surprised me. This is a very intelligent, uh, very, very well-made platformer, and it forces you to, string, to, to think strategically to figure out different ways that you can progress through the areas. And not only that, but it uses its artistic direction in a way that I think very few platformers do. Unlike a, a, you know, a typical platformer will have you say, all right, you're stuck, you can't get cr across this area, and so you have to go find some, you know, some item in a secret, you know, area within the platforming levels, and that's an item that's made specifically for you to cross that area. In Unravel, you have basically just the environment to help you out, and this is what really separates itself, um, or what, this is how the game really separates itself from the mold here, is because. Unravel uses basic, ordinary objects throughout the world. Things like rocks, uh, apples, acorns. There's freaking uh, trash that you have to pull out of the trash can. And it uses this stuff... Um, it, it forces you to use these things to get through the levels, and it's so it's it's so cool because, again, like no other platformer really has done it in that style. And it's it's when you figure out these puzzles and you f actually figure out what you're supposed to do here you um you it cracks a smile on your face you're like oh wow that was actually pretty pretty awesome the way that they you know they way that they did that and everything like that so that's what uh, what immediately struck me with unravel it's a it's it's a very intelligent platformer and then the artistic direction is actually being used for gameplay um, speaking of the artistic direction, this game is gorgeous, and you guys are going to notice, like, how, like, I have the game running at 4K max settings on my PC, of course, and, uh, the game just, it, it, it looks very, very, very close to photorealistic at times. Uh, the certain objects, you know, in the background, everything uses an intense depth of field, a bulk depth of field effect, I may add. So everything looks super high quality, everything looks really awesome, and, uh, it really, it really makes you feel like you know you're you're progressing through like a real a real area like that that exists in real life. You know, it's not just like a level for this game, and uh, it's it's pretty satisfying as well. You like you look you're at times you'll be stopping throughout these levels and you're just like wow, just look at everything that's going on, and uh, it's just a joy to play through. It's so nice to not to play a platformer that's very bright and has lots of colors and it's like a beautiful environment outdoorsy type of game versus these other platformers that take place in like a deep underground facility or like a big castle or you know things like that it's this is a very much grounded in reality platformer and the graphics themselves remind you of real world real world situations and things like that now i've only played two and a half hours of the game so i haven't actually you know played a significant amount yet i heard the game's around five six hours long so i'm around about 45 50 percent through the game um probably 40 percent to be honest with you guys um, but this, uh, what I can tell you guys already is that I'm, I'm actually really enjoying the game and having a blast with it. And this is coming from a guy who doesn't typically play platformers, who isn't, is, who isn't into that type of style of game. Uh, Unravel just has this great, great, um, artistic direction to it. And, uh, the way in which the puzzles are laid out really, again, it makes you think strategically and it cracks a smile on your face and it just results in an overall really pleasant and fun experience. There are annoying times, you know, as comes with every platformer has these annoying levels where you're just like, I can't, I can't figure this out, jeez. You know, that, that's always the case, you know, that, that always happens. But nothing I've come across so far in Unravel has made me think, oh, wow, this that was just, that was out of this world, that was crazy, you know, that I... 
wow. Um, it's really how, it's really the way that you're able to use the environments and things like that. Uh, there are enemies and stuff in the game, uh, but these enemies kind of, they're pretty much typical of animals and stuff in the game. Like, keep in mind, you're a fictitious live um, yarn character you know it's it's like so a lot of a lot of, you have a lot of animals here that are kind of small and that would impose really a big harm to us uh things like crabs hamsters birds you know these are things that we see every day in real life maybe not crabs and hamsters but you know we see uh we do see real you know in real life and things like that and uh, some of us may have as pets and these things really uh they become like an, an enemy in the game and it's and it's really cool because you have to kind of outsmart them at times there's this one level where i was like on uh on the docks or something like that and uh i had to get past this crab and i had to lower i basically there was a there in inside a cage you know a little bit later in the level there was a uh, a clam inside the cage and I, ha I had to get I had to get the clam out of the cage and then give it to the um, basically push it towards the uh, crab and the crab took it ran off and I was able to get the special item or you know the the extra yarn or something that would allow me to progress to the levels and they're just it's stuff like that you know there's another thing um, in that same level where I actually had to drop a I, I had to trick a crab I had to grab a clam I had to put it down and the crab basically went and ate the clam and as it was eating the clam I dropped the cage on it and uh, it was it's pissed right so it's like following me around and it went into a, a pool of water and i was able to you know basically climb on top of the uh, cage and get to the other side without you know getting drowned in water and it's stuff like that where it's like wow that's just a really awesome way of figuring out how the level is and things like that so really overall i, I i'm gonna give uh unravel a thumbs up for now i think it's a it's 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 definitely you know worth your time if you have you know it's only it's 20 bucks and you're gonna get about you know i heard around five or six hours of gameplay here but it's an enjoyable experience and it's it's really cute and it's you know very uh artistic and things like that and you have this this great level design and it, and it really just it's a peaceful calming game you know, keep in mind, as as with Compass Every Platformer, you have frustrations and things like that. But for the most part, this is a really pleasant experience. And you have this great music that comes in um, that really just fits the levels and makes everything seem really awesome and things like that. So definitely uh, give Unravel a thumbs up. At the same time, these developers are also awesome. Uh, these are some of the few developers out there, um, in my opinion, that are really progressing the industry or really want to progress the industry. If you actually hear the guy talk to creative director, you know, it's he, he talks about how he believes games can be just more than what they are. And this is like the same message that I preach to you guys. We need to help support these developers because these developers are going to help us progress the industry. And uh, I'm hoping I can become one of them, you know, one of these days and really help progress this industry forward so video games can reach their full potential, but at the same time, not be brought down by corporate greed and bureaucracy and just, just dominance by, by the publishers who just refuse to, you know, really, I, I guess, let creators be creative, you know, for the sake of funds. So... Let me know what you guys think. For those of you who have played Unravel, if you'd like to see uh, Unravel in 4K, I did upload a 4K video of Unravel. You can check that out. And uh, overall, I'm really uh, happy with it. Really enjoying the game. And uh, I guess, I guess, hopefully by the end, you know, it turns out to be uh, really even better. So, have a good one, guys, and thank you for watching.